All right, everybody, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with Growing Green and on the farm. And I'm here at Five Star Sod Farm here in Brown Summit, North Carolina, and we're taking a look at the sod. Now, this is a premium sod that's grown right here in our area, and uh, it's actually five varieties that we're all very familiar with at Growing Green. You've got Wolf Pack, got Tar Heel, Cornada, there's a Midnight Star and Silver Star here. So it's a five-way mixture, blend of tall fescue. And some of these are what I'm after. The dwarves, the dwarf turf type tall fescues. That's what I want. I've got a uh, property we're gonna be doing a sod job on and it's in a semi-shaded backyard. And what happens when you do sod? As you can see, we're out here in the wide open, full sun. And these plants have been given a lot of nutrients over time. They've grown well right here in full sun. So now when we cut this sod, we'll be moving it into a shade environment. So what's going to happen here is those plants will start to thin themselves out to adjust to the light, acclimate to the new light situation. And I don't want that to be too severe. Um, Getting a shade mix in sod, uh, don't believe it's even available. Unless it's something like St. Augustine, and that's a warm season turf, but that's Florida. So we're not doing that here in North Carolina. But Five Star is known for a very good product. Um, they Obviously, there's a little bit of disease here. This is some brown patch you can see kicking up. And there are some weeds. But for the most part, I'm sure they're harvesting from a good clean area right now. And I know that this farmer uses a lot of good organic matter. He uses humic acid on these fields, uh, along with his regular fertility program. So I know I'm going to be getting a good, high-quality sod. So just wanted to share that with you. Tommy Cow with Growing Green. We're on the lawn and on the sod farm. Just want to let you know a little bit about sod farming.